The call for action exclusive involving a downtown real estate deal that cost a lot of people a lot of money. As Keith King shows us, the spotlight now shifts to a former associate of the woman behind that defunct deal. Keith. For months, we have reported on Brenda Wood, the mastermind behind efforts to buy two downtown buildings. Now a former banker and a key player in one of her companies pleaded guilty for his part in what the feds call a shady real estate deal. Before filing for bankruptcy in 2012, Brenda Wood tried to orchestrate the multi-million dollar purchase of this, 20 West 9th Street downtown, and then the former AMC corporate headquarters. Both deals fell apart, costing investors tens of thousands of dollars. I've had to go back to work, yes. I've had to take a job making a lot less money than I was making before I retired. Wood owns several companies, including PCI, a custodial and building maintenance company. This document, dated in 2012 and submitted to one school district, listed Wood as president and Mike Yancey as chief operating officer. But before that, Yancey was a senior vice president and commercial lender at Farmers Bank. Now this. This week, Yancey pleaded guilty to conspiracy to make false statements on a loan application. Wood is not named in the plea deal, but federal prosecutors state Yancey conspired in 2007 with another person, referred to as B.W., to buy a piece of real estate in Baser, Kansas. It states that B.W. sent Yancey a falsified sales contract, inflating the purchase price to $1.1 million for a property worth only $850,000 and that Yancey accepted the contract knowing it was wrong. What do you tell your investors, Brenda? What do you tell the investors? Brenda Wood has refused our repeated request for an on-camera interview. When reached by phone today, Wood claims she did not know her former associate had pleaded guilty to federal charges. And as part of this plea deal, Yancey will not face additional charges. However, that changes if he breaches the agreement with federal authorities. He's now facing five years in prison. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.